fellow students, welcome back. In today's lecture, we'll look at the surface anatomy of the heart using a posterior view. We've identified most of the items that we'll be discussing today. However, we will mention three new items. We'll cover those first. Just as there was an interventricular groove on the front of the heart, there's also one on the back of the heart. That groove is shown here. Let's highlight this groove. This groove lies over the wall, which separates the two ventricles. Just as there was an anterior groove, there's also a posterior groove. This groove is known as the posterior interventricular sulcus. And we will abbreviate this groove, PIVS. The next structure that we will identify is shown here. This structure is a central drainage point for all coronary veins. This structure drains into the right atrium. All coronary veins then drain into the right atrium. This structure is known as the coronary sinus. And the coronary sinus is shown here. The last structure that we will identify is the vein here that travels up the posterior interventricular sulcus and drains into the coronary sinus. This vein originates at the apex and travels up the posterior interventricular sulcus. On the front of the heart, we have the great cardiac vein and the small cardiac vein. On the rear of the heart, we have the middle cardiac vein. And shown here is our middle cardiac vein. These are the only three new items we'll introduce in this lecture. The coronary sinus, the middle cardiac vein, and the posterior interventricular sulcus. All of the rest of the items are ones we've seen before. We will simply label these and summarize them afterwards. Let's summarize the surface anatomy of the posterior heart. Here we have the aorta, the superior vena cava, the right pulmonary artery, branches of the right pulmonary vein, the right atrium, the inferior vena cava, the small cardiac vein, the right coronary artery. The groove here is the posterior interventricular sulcus. The vein in this sulcus is the middle cardiac vein. The central drainage point for all coronary veins is the coronary sinus, shown here. Here is the left atrium. Here are branches of the left pulmonary vein, the left pulmonary artery. This is the surface anatomy of the posterior heart. That concludes this lecture. I hope you learned a lot.